typical morning starts by going into the yard we love going and getting some sunlight just getting some fresh air in the morning hearing the birds looking at the plants watering the plants here we have um, a blueberry plant with a ripe blueberry there we also have a strawberry plant uh, the flowers are just blooming and some other flowering plants right there we also have some mint growing this year the mint has been growing really nicely and i use it a lot in my kitchen and here is methi have just planted the seeds and waiting for them to sprout we also have this raspberry plant so the kids really love picking the raspberries and eating them and enjoying them in the morning we have been getting lot of raspberries every day just look at that red color they look so inviting so that's the yard we recently did some work we put some tiles in we put some pebbles also we need to complete this side of the yard we are planning to put in like a stone pathway that will be like a work in progress um, for the next few weeks so we just love spending time here chilling because we can't go anywhere um during the lockdown so we enjoy this space and this is our happy place right now sugar candy uh -huh. and now the ants are figuring out how to ho take them home take them home oh interesting anu <laughs> initially when you put there was no ants right and yeah. now after some time when we came they figured out yeah usually in the morning when we come indoors they do some painting or some writing reading some sort of activity that keeps them busy so i can quickly finish my cooking they usually love painting they love playing with colors making a mess and i let them do it because if they have fun they are happy and uh, they let me do my work as well and uh, here i am cutting some potatoes for our lunch today today i'm going to make some beetroot curry along with some potatoes in it so this combination my kids really love they love potatoes in anything and they also like beetroot i typically try to include at least 2 to 3 veggies in their meal in the lunch time and then uh, also a few veggies in their dinner time i try to include they generally they like vegetables so that's not an issue for me so i'm just quickly cutting the potatoes i usually do some prep work the previous day but uh, today i'm just doing the cutting in the morning itself potatoes they look red because i had cut beetroot before on the same cutting board and here is my beetroot that i have pre steamed to make it easier in the cooking process i will save this beetroot water um i'll add it to the rasam so we don't waste all the nutrition that is in the water where oil has been heating it's just a simple curry with uh, some tadka of mustard and urad dal I'm just adding the uh, haldi powder to the veggies now and then uh, added some hing also i make it less spicy because the kids don't eat a lot of spice 
so we have also accustomed ourselves to their spice levels so i'm just going to cover this with the lid and let it cook in the steam here uh, the curry looks done the potatoes have cooked and since the beetroot was already cooked the beetroot water went into the rasam and hence the lovely red color it has and here is the cooked rice so lunch is ready i'm just quickly making uh, one or two chapatis for myself since i don't eat white rice so i always keep some chapati dough ready in the fridge i don't add any ghee or oil just make it on the tawa itself and uh, lunch is ready in the afternoon usually i let anu have some screen time she uh, plays some games on her tablet this is the khan academy app which is really useful for kids of her age she is 5 and 1/2 and i really like uh, all the activities they have in the app she will also do some writing later on in the evenings we like to take a walk around our community this is a trail right behind our community and it's so beautiful the sunlight uh, is hitting uh, just perfectly not too sunny not too bright but uh, warm at the same time Look at the trees and all the greenery. Doesn't feel like it is in the city or just behind our community. Feels like we are in some rainforest. The kids love exploring uh, with their, you know, scavenger hunt uh, type of thing they do. They collect things. And of course, uh, we are all trying to maintain a safe distance and uh, wear masks and things like that. Here are some beautiful wild flowers that we found on the way. Some wild berries there. The evening walk is so refreshing for us. Hi everybody. So continuing with our kitchen story since this morning it's about 6:20 in the evening right now and it's very gloomy outside so to lift everybody's spirits i decided to make a tea but it's not our regular tea it's immunity boosting turmeric tea so these are the ingredients needed some fresh turmeric root about an inch and some fresh ginger root about the same amount and some fresh mint leaves which i have taken from the pot in my garden and then now we have some fresh spices we have some peppercorns about 10 some cardamom cloves cinnamon sticks cumin seeds some ajwain or carom seeds and to sweeten the tea we have some palm jaggery So to start with I'm going to take this mortar and pestle and now we're going to crush some ingredients I'm going to show you So here uh, we need to crush the turmeric root with the mortar and pestle I'm also adding the ginger root and together we need to crush them both crushing the ingredients actually brings out their flavors better than grating or any other method so that's why we are crushing them here also add some mint leaves at the end and crush everything together here we are dry roasting some spices we have all the spices here you don't have to add any oil or anything just the dry roasting will bring out the aromas of the spices and will make it easier for grinding as well just keep it at a medium to low flame so they don't burn just wait till the aromas come out and here we have our spices ready for crushing just crush it with the mortar and pestle again i have my little assistant here my daughter anu who is helping me with pounding the spices and making it into a powder 
so we have the fresh turmeric ginger and mint pounded over here and we have the whole spices so the water here is coming to a boil I'm going to add the turmeric ginger and mint into this give it a good mix and then let's add the spice powder you don't need to eat, add too much for three cups of water I'm going to add about two teaspoons of the spice powder and about two teaspoons of the crushed turmeric and ginger let this come to a boil and it's going to reduce a little bit once it's done we're going to strain it into our cups and we're going to add some honey to taste or I have some palm jaggery you can add the palm jaggery into this itself once this has reduced in quantity or if you're adding honey then you can strain it and then add your honey mix it and have it so the tea has been boiling for about five to seven minutes now once it's done we have turned off the flame and now we are going to strain it. To finish off, you can just put some thinly sliced lemon into it and this it so I'm going to give it a taste test oh my god it's so delicious you need to try this to know how good it is I'm going to let my daughter taste it now and you know how picky kids are so if she says it's good then you know it's really good take a tiny sip it's not that hard just blow it a little bit yummy so now we're going to make the turmeric lemonade right Anna? yeah yeah so um first in this measuring cup we have some grated turmeric root and some grated ginger what we had grated earlier for the tea yeah. we've taken a little bit of that and we have squeezed in half an orange what do oranges and lemons contain vitamin c yeah and vitamin c is really good for yeah. our health, health immunity right yeah. it boosts our immunity and so we have squeezed some lemon juice and some orange juice yeah. into this measuring cup. Yeah. Now we are going to add some water. Two cups. One cup and then two cups. Organic raw honey. Yeah. Just for the sweetness. Yeah. As per your taste. We're just going to strain this into two glasses 
I just decorate it with some lemon slices and serve as a refreshing summer drink with the goodness of turmeric, ginger, mint. And here uh, we have some popsicle molds to make it more fun for the kids. So we're going to pour this about 3 fourth full and we're going to put this in the freezer and wait for about couple of hours and your popsicles will be ready there you have it to open the popsicle yeah. that we made yesterday is it ready yeah. you think it's ready yeah. okay let's open it can you give it a taste Anu mm. is it good that's from the weekend mind workshop that she attended by Deepthi Designs it was really useful and they had many uh, fun puzzles and games too. I will include the link in the description box below. I also made some yummy pasta for dinner. This is just a simple tomato sauce with peppers and some garlic. And uh, look at the gorgeous car there. Here I have boiled the pasta and they're perfectly boiled and uh, ready to be mixed. I'm also making some instant garlic bread. Here is a herb butter that I've made with some butter, herbs, crushed garlic, Himalayan pink salt and some pepper. And I'm applying it a generous amount on the bread slices. I will also be sprinkling some parmesan cheese on top to make it a cheesy garlic bread for the kids. This comes out really good, just like uh, you get from the pizza shop. And it goes perfectly well with pasta as a side dish. And it's so easy to make. You just broil it in the oven at uh, high. And keep an eye. It just gets done in two minutes and it's ready. So here I'm setting the oven for broiling at high. So once it gets warm, we're gonna put the bread. And that was a delicious meal. That's the end of the vlog. I hope you enjoyed watching. Do not forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you and see you next time.